and sin to see who of this group will go out in first place. Yep, Sen looking really good so far, but he's on a crazy win streak right now in WCS. Basically won nine maps on a row. Uh, before that, he lost four on a row when he lost against Sage and Oz, and he was forced to stick in Challenger League. And I think Sen, you know, he woke up after another big sleep, and he's like, I don't think this is where I belong, Ben. You know, we all know this feeling once upon a time. You're surrounded by a crowd, and you just think, this is not where I belong. I've been there. I'm sure you've been there. And this Sen is not my beautiful house. <laughs> this is not my beautiful wife. <laughs> and and I ask myself, <laughs> how did I get here? Sen is our uh, Red Zerg spawning in the right bottom side of the map. Once more on a crazy win streak so far. Gulsy users are North American Zerg Hope, at least today. Spawning on the left top side of the map. Gulsy user is a great player. Even if he loses this series, he will still have a chance to make it into the WCS Premier League. Round of 16, and then make it to the round of 8, and then... You know, then the big goal is been finish top six because you will be able to secure your ticket to Toronto. And that is, of course, what it's all about. Pretty Toronto, identical. You know, basically, it all comes down to starting from the bottom <laughs> and then you go to Toronto. And you know also what's from Toronto, Ben? It's Drake. <laughs> I can't handle your obsession with this musician. It's, <laughs> it, it's borderline unhealthy. <laughs> Stop hating, hater. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty similar builds from these two players. Early, not early pool, but like 15 pool into hatchery. Sin has gotten the gas, where his Gosu user has opted to go gasless. That's the only exception we've mm. seen thus far. Pretty big, this uh, exception, though. Like, that definitely opens up a lot of different routes yep. for both players. Ghost is obviously putting himself in a pretty defensive position, at least for now. It's going to be damn hard to make something happen without gas. And Sin, on the other end, you know, he might still bust out the running build. You know, and speedling attacks on this map in particular, certainly in these positions, can be extra effective because that hatchery of Gosu user is so far from that ramp. So it's going to be difficult for him to use, you know, only queens and spine crawlers to defend both the hatch and the ramp. So that could be something that we see later out of Sin. Yeah. Sen shouldn't make too many drones there if he wants to go for the Roddy build. And for the people at home who want the Roddy, don't you play Protoss? Yes, I do. But hey, you know, hey, he can still make at least one more drone, and he'll be below the Momon number. You know, I, I've beaten <laughs> multiple Grandmaster League Zerg players with the Roddy build. It's, it's, it's legit all in. It's, it's there ridiculous. we go, six Zerglings in the way! <laughs> How many additional Zerglings are we going to see? Overlord in production? I think we I might think see some Roddy build action. I think Sen has lived from the absolute best, man. This is, you don't understand how much this just turns my stomach seeing this. <laughs> Here we go, 40 Zerglings on the way, 21 drones right now for Sen. Shout out to Moman, our Step. lovely friend Zerg, who used to go up to 21 drones and then just be like all about the roaches and links. What would that make 22 drones? <laughs> is something Momon might say. Um, oh, this is definitely looking to be very Roddy Build esque. 16 more lings on the way. <laughs> Sen is so good. Still no gas from Gosu user, and we are about to see if the Roddy Build can stand the test of. Uh, of WCS. Just the extractors going down right now. I actually don't see a possible way for... Uh, I mean, three queens is pretty damn good. Well, spine crawl is pretty damn good, but... Transfusion yeah. is a is a big key here, but the problem... Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, that might no. save the day. But this is going to be in time. No. Oh! Well, whoa, Sen had a window there. He can still kill one of these building yeah. structures here. Oh, oh just that by. could happen. What up? All right, righty build pretty good. Well, I mean, he's not there yet. He's still going to have to do quite a bit oh, of damage. Oh, I gonna think he's there, Kev. Oh. Well, he's going to be able to surround the Queen over here. A lot of action right now. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit to keep track on all these Zerglings. Set is on hold position <laughs> quite a while over there. Uh, he's droning up a little bit well, behind this, though, Ben. So I think Ghost User will be able to stabilize. Yeah, this is going to go okay. Sin kind of missed an opportunity, I think. I think he should have just gone all the way up in the main. Agreed. Uh, here he has to worry about that spine crawler getting in range as well. He's still doing a reasonable amount of damage, though. Yep, but uh, he's only killed a Queen and, and Zerglings, really. The, the drones killed. Oh, I want to take a guess before you bring up the Worker's Lost tab. Three. Well, now it's two, uh, but uh, but this is a, a surprisingly good defense at a ghost user. And while it's, I don't want to detract from ghost user's defense. I still feel like Sin made a large mistake by not just running everything up into the main. Yeah, and he kind of was there, and it would have taken a little while for the queens to get off creep and then get on creep again. And you know, I think he would have definitely been able to kill way more drones than he actually did. But in the end of the day, Ben, I still kind of like Sin's position. He had a lot of action on the other side of the map. Uh, we see plus one being researched right now for the Roaches. Roach one being morphed in over here as well. His third hatchery is way quicker than the one of Sen. He still has more eyes on the map. Like, look at the Overlord spread. Look at the Zerglings that are active. Uh, Ghost Easy mm. on the other end. I feel like he's putting himself in a little bit of a dicey position. Well, you know, you're right about everything you said, except 
Ghost User's got the worker lead, he's got the slight upgrade advantage, and he's got the faster tech. So I think 1-1 uh, one, one Roach timing could be very hard for Sin to deal with. Uh, I don't know. I, see, I just don't think that Sin's economy at that third base is going to be kicking uh, before a Roach attack arrives. We'll see. It's going to be close. Uh, as uh, the first roaches are in production now for Gosu user. You know, Ben, upgrades are extremely important, but what would you rather have in a roach bar? Defender's advantage or one plus one on an upgrade? Probably the defender's advantage. Yes. Uh, in ZVZ, it's hugely important. How many times have we seen uh, a fight that looked like it was going to go the way of the attacker, and then narrowly it gets defended? In fact, there's an old saying in ZVZ from back in the Wings of Liberty days, and it says, uh, in ZVZ, the player who attacks first loses. <laughs> Uh, just because of the I don't massive think that's difference. I don't think it's really an old saying. Is but I mean, I, I believe. <laughs> you know, I think that's like been around <laughs> since <laughs> since the middle. <laughs> Never mind. Go ahead, Ben. I I, I don't understand <laughs> where, where you're trying to go with your line of N nothing, line yeah. of thought. I just think it's funny. Like if that's the first time you've ever heard that saying. If it's the first time, I w it wouldn't be an old saying. It would be a new one. Old sayings have been around for no, a long time. I mean, time. like yeah, but it's a very old saying. That's what I said. It's like the type of thing that's been around even before ZVZ was known to mankind. You know, it, it's hard. I don't think it's hard to attack in a war as well. <laughs> anyway, Ben, I, I agree with you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I <laughs> didn't appreciate your thing. But I do agree with you. It's hard to attack. <laughs> Go on, Ben. <laughs> don't be sad now. I'm just going to follow your lead here, Kev. All right. We have 26 roaches over here for Sen against 24 for Ghost User, which, you know, by the time you cross the map, it is going to be really hard. And, you know, Weissman once said, the person who attacks first in ZVZ is going to have a rough time. Sen is actually marching across the map, and that's the opposite of what we expected, certainly considering the fact that this third hatchery from Ghost User is quite a bit later. <laughs> All right. Actually, Sen is putting himself in a really difficult position right now. He's just sacrificing a lot of roaches. There you go, Ben, attacking first. And <laughs> Sen is actually, uh, he should have been aware of this very old saying. He should have he should have listened to the old wise man. Who, uh, he does have a work lead. He's up to 63 drones against the 52 from Ghost Users. 70 drones now, even. Uh, upgrade advantage still heavily in favor of Ghost Users. He's a 1-1 one, one and 2-2 mm -hmm. two, two is well on the way. But ooh, the drone advantage, I'm kind of digging it for Sen. He's definitely got a lot more money to work with, Kev, and, uh, you know, Ghost User's sort of trying to recover here. If we look at the army supplies, though, uh, we can see that he really doesn't enjoy any real advantage outside of that plus two armor. He's dropping his Hydra Den. Sin, on the other hand, is going to go Infester. Uh, so Roach Hydra versus Roach Infester. I think that Ghost User in general is quite good in Roach Hydra. I've seen a lot of great CVZs from him. Didn't he have that great game against Hyun on the Star Station? It's just a ridiculous game where he played so well and was going back and forth so many times back then at DreamHack. Um, so, I mean, I for a long time, Roach Infester was considered just the superior way to play the matchup. I think uh, since players have gotten better and since maybe the Infester's a little bit worse now, uh, it, it, it might not still be the case. Uh, here come the first Hydras from Gosu User. Now, Belcher Vestige is a very choky map, mm -hmm. so uh, that, that means that Fungal can be uh, hugely impactful still, but it does come down to positioning. 40 roaches against 40 roaches, 68 drones against 63 drones, but once more upgrade advantage in favor of Ghost User. Sen is definitely the more active player, though, Ben, throughout the entire uh, game. Like, he opened up with the Roddy build. He didn't really want to commit to the Roddy build, which, you know, in all my ZBZs, I, you know, <laughs> it's Roddy build win or die trying. <laughs> so one moment you're still on 18 drones, you just keep making zerglings, and then eventually you hope to break your opponent. Yeah, even when even when you know it's not going to happen anymore. Uh, but I do like how active Sen has been. And it, mo it always feels good when you're playing a mirror matchup and you have units out on the map all the time. Uh, it's not going to mean that the fight eventually is going to go in your favor because a couple of fungos can definitely change everything. Or, you know, whether they're good or bad. Yeah, Ghost User's finally going to move out on the map. Both players are maxed here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, at, at, at this point it just becomes... Uh, all about position. Who's going to take that first good fight? Who's going to have the better concave? Who's going to trade more effectively? Uh, no, it's so hard to attack in these situations. As much as I love the Infestors band, like four Fungals or four Infestors, maybe four Fungals right now, maybe eight soon, I feel that it's really good by perhaps forcing your opponent to take a fight he doesn't really want to take. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't think that the DPS of the Fungal is going to be super important. 
Would you agree? It, it, it just depends. If he catches them all clumped up, it's going to be huge. If he doesn't, if they're spread out, if they're in a big line, uh, then fungal becomes much less relevant uh, in, that, uh, you know, in that kind of an example. And that's on the road. He's that guy's wait here. He was brave. I'm going to take a look. Oof. <laughs> Looks pretty hard to attack into. <laughs> Let's go around. <laughs> As uh, Gosu user continues to dance. Got a very ambitious queen joining his army. <laughs> I think uh, I really was not meant to stay on. He's actually splitting uh -oh. up his units right now. This is a little bit uh -oh. risky. Set is doing pretty much the same thing, though. And we've got uh, a larger group of units here for Ghost User, and actually both fronts, yeah, I think, might favor Ghost User. The Infestors have used a bit of their energy. Oh, that's a big clump and a huge fungal lands for Sin. Ghost User uh, oh. trying to make some magic happen, and he might have just succeeded. Oh, wow, look at the supply difference. Yeah, though. that's because there are 45 roaches on the way. They're not here, though, and if all those roaches kind of spawn one by one, if he stands on top of the production, I think Ghost User will be able to do really well and he's already been doing fantastic. Uh, he, Sin is doing everything in his power to uh, sort of divide and conquer. Ghost user has so many users now. He's got his remax with 27 Hydras and 16 Roaches. So the, the new army of Ghost user is uh, going to be a bit more balanced than that of Sin. Sin is on pure Roach right now. He has got uh, 40 Roaches out on the map against... Well, right now, Ghost User's got only Hiders out and not that many of them. He's got to be careful. He's probably mm. going to lose his fourth base. I'm not sure if he can get Eunice out in time to defend uh, it. If Sin is really going to go for it, though, I think that uh, Ghost is going to try to defend it. I think he will be fine, but he should be able to put his Hiders in a pretty sweet position here. And as we can see right now, Sen is retreating, perhaps waiting for the reinforcements. But he's going to keep that base alive while he did eventually, or like before the big fight, he forced a cancel on that fourth base of Sen. Uh-oh. Uh uh -oh. oh, man. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> how's this going to play out? Roach is unburrow, but unfortunately, the damage output in Gosu user's army... Uh, you know, he didn't really unburrow on top of all the Hydras. Like, he definitely got a few, but the big clump of Hydras is still a little far away, and the DPS from Ghost user looked really good. Still enjoying that upgrade advantage. 2 to 1 upgrades for Sen against the 2 2 for Ghost user. Yep. Uh, right now, Hydra speed being researched for <laughs> Ghost user. Uh, both players... Establishing their fourth base is still a super close game. This late game Roach Hydra ZVZ yeah. is often very hard to predict. It was definitely a very, very good fight for Ghost Use, though. He's going to try to do it once more. It might be a little bit uh, tricky to uh, attack into this. He wants to force his way up that ramp, and he's not going to. As uh, Sin is beginning to make his own transition into Hydras. Now, uh, when you say Roach Hydra versus Roach Infester, you have interesting sort of dynamics being introduced uh, as we see another fight here and it looks like a pretty good concave once more for Ghost User and Sin realizes that he's going to back off. I think Sin is in a lot of trouble, man. I don't think he's going to be able to get in a, a good fight while keeping this fourth base yeah, alive. And fourth is going to go down and that's a big advantage to, uh, to Ghost User. And the but army value is just uh, is in favor of, of uh, uh, Ghost User as well. It's, it's quite close uh, in terms of army supplies, 130 to 130. And, and, and anytime there's a maxed out army, it, it Either side can win. Like, this is so far from over. And, and one thing that Sin has done well is he's kind of completed the trifecta. He's got Roaches, Hydras, and Infestors versus just Roaches and Hydras. So if he gets a favorable fight, Ghost User has to stay the whole time. Like, there's only no running away. There's no disengage. There's only three Infestors, though. It's going to be really hard to make those guys uh, worth the money. And Ghost User oh! is actually going to kind of commit to this. That's the first one. was fantastic. It's a good and fungal, but it's also a pretty good position for Ghost User to fight, and he's not going to mind taking this fight. And look at how overwhelming the position is for Ghost yeah. User. Sin cannot deal with this. And the DPS as well from all those Hydras. It was 34 Hydra Lisk against 14, and sure, it's awesome to have a couple of Infestors in the mix. But when you have 20 Hydra Lisk more than your opponent, you know, Ben, I'm a true believer of the Roach. But I do love me some Hydras and ZVZ. Yep, uh, well done here by Ghost User. 177 supply against about 115. An overwhelming lead for Ghost User. These units will get cleaned up, but the next wave of reinforcements, I think, should break Sin. <laughs> it is a maxed out Ghost User against a 100 supply Sin. There are 21 riches in production and, uh, and many, many, many units streaming across the map. Almost tripling the army supply, and that's when you know that you're going to have a really good time playing ZVZ. Uh, I still think it kind of all comes down to the start, though. I mean, Sam wasn't that far behind. I do think it was really smart. The, the army composition from Ghost User was just, in my opinion, better throughout the entire game. The Heiser's working, but Sam could have done so much more early game with his speed links. 
And he wasn't in like a horrible position after that. I like that he was out on the map all the time. I liked his vision, but he could have done so much more. So if we go back to the age-old saying, Kev, he who attacks first loses. Sen attacked first. He did, and it's going to hold true here. I will never underestimate the age-old sayings again. GG gets called. Ghost user ties it up. I never question.